Now I'd like to turn to uh, Paul Thompson for his quick tips. Paul? Uh, hi, Jim. Sorry, my screen just went into all kinds of colors there. Sorry about that. <laughs> now, <laughs> I hit something. <laughs> anyway, good evening, everyone. Um, I guess what I'll try and do uh, is share my screen here. If it will come up. There we go. Now, is everybody seeing that? Yes. 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 Okay. Very, what, uh, what is, is that a what, brass? Is that a brass uh, pin vice? Yes, it is. And and what I discovered here, uh, whilst building this bridge in O scale, and I'm I'm uh, starting to dabble in O scale, having been uh, an HO modeler for years, and uh, I got a drill that was included in the uh, in the bridge, and lo and behold, I started going through all my pin vices. And a number 65 drill was a problem. As you can see, this is a fancy little number that I bought years ago. And I thought, okay, what do I do now? So I looked at modifying this and it's just about impossible to modify a, a pin vise. This thing has either one very small setting or one massive setting as you reverse it. So what was my solution? I came up with this. This is a nifty little pin vise that takes everything from zero up to so far. And it's got a few advantages. And I found this thing at the local tool shop. It's actually uh, Busy Bee Tools in uh, Canada. Uh, I suspect something like Harbor Freight or whatever would have it in, uh, in the US. And uh, this comes in a neat little set of four. And as you can see, this thing is actually smaller than my normal pin vise. And the set of four increases the uh, ability to use uh, larger drills by hand, which is something that uh, sometimes can be an advantage. Now, the other thing that I found very interesting about this particular little tool is you can pass something all the way through it, which I can't do with my normal pin vise. So that if I'm using uh, rod, or want to turn something, perhaps bend something. I, I mean, I have not yet explored the limitations of this thing. As you can see, I put one of the bigger ones on here that has the plastic rod running right through it. You can do that with the little one too. Uh, and all of them do that. So, I mean, as you're working on your layout, I'm sure this has got to have some kind of a, a, a use. I just haven't quite figured it out yet, but I thought it was really neat. And there's basically what I've got. It's a nifty little tool, uh, nice weight. And uh, I found this at, uh, as I say, Busy Bee Tool, which is basically a woodworking shop and a metalworking shop. They sell lathes of all sizes. And some of these big tool outfits have nice little tools that modelers can use. And that's my tip for the night, guys. Thank you.